Hi, I'm Kelly LeClaire with LeClaire Real Estate. Oftentimes, buyers need money from mom or dad or a family member in order to have enough cash on hand for a down payment. This is called gift funds. But there are some rules and some tricks about gift funds that we'd like to share with you. So joining me today is Tommy Evans with iMortgage. So Tommy, with gift funds, a couple of things to keep in mind. First of all, who can actually give money to someone who's buying a house? Yeah, so the best donor is a direct family member. Uh, those are pretty much going to always be approved. Uh, always depends on the program. So if you're looking at receiving a gift from someone that's not a direct family member, definitely talk to your loan officer before getting those funds. Okay. And um, of course, tax ramifications everyone would be worried about. So if, if I'm buying a house and someone lends me money, am I going to have any tax ramifications? So the person receiving the funds, there are no tax implications, so that is not going to be taxable income. Although the person that is donating the funds could have some potential tax issues, so definitely speak with your CPA before making that deposit into. Okay, and then I've seen this in deals that I've done where the mom and dad has transferred the money into the account, thinking that was the best move, but maybe that isn't the best way to do it. So what do you recommend? Yeah, I always recommend that they hold off until that escrow is ready for those funds and have the donor send them directly into escrow. Uh, it's a quick, easy way, and that way it limits the amount of paperwork that they're going to require. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Of course, every situation is different. If you have questions about gift funds and there's much more information to know about it, you can reach out to Tommy or me. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the LeClaire Real Estate Reels. I'm Kelly LeClaire.